And sometimes I think because supplements don't, you don't need a physician to write a prescription for a supplement, we assume they're safe, right? Because you can buy them over the counter, but you can have toxicity. Um, it's important to understand that most supplements that we ingest orally are metabolized and they have to go through first pass metabolism in the liver. And we can cause damage if we take too much of them. And they're not FDA controlled either. So right. the level, the quality, where you buy them, what you're buying actually, you know, there, there's been studies that people know now where they've looked at supplements bought from that you buy that go into a store and buy a huge container and it's mostly sawdust or something, you know? Especially, you know, on Amazon, we're seeing, and you see it a lot in like testosterone boosters and hormone support. We're seeing medications in the supplements. Um, where they're not supposed to be in it. It's, it's putting people at a lot of risk. Because if you're taking a supplement at 100% of the DRI, that's generally recognized as safe. When you start seeing something 300, 400, 500, 600% of the DRI, that's where you get into a level where it may have the potential to cause a toxicity. That's why I asked you, how much do you take? Because the media gives you, you, you can't take enough. And uh, people really need to be aware of what they're doing. Uh, and we're going to address those issues here on the podcast. We got your number.